Good morning, kids. This is Obi-Ron here at the pass. Where is everybody else? I have Turtle right here. Hello. We're here for the uh, NCAA football week number 10. And, uh, you know, just a couple days ago, actually just yesterday, uh, the CFP uh, released their first rankings for the college teams. Turtle, did you have a chance to see this at all? I did. So, I mean, AP has their top 25, uh, which is, you know, what a lot of people go off of. But the official CFP put out their rankings. And the top two, very, you know, same. Yeah, no you surprise. Know, two undefeated guys. teams. But three and four, I think, are going to uh, cause a little, little issue. So, for AP, the top four is Mississippi State, Florida State, Alabama, then Auburn. College football playoff ranking, it's Mississippi State, Florida State, Auburn in third, and then Ole Miss in fourth. What? You know, it's crazy because in the AP top 25, Ole Miss is ranked ranked seventh. Right. But it's, CFP has them up in, in uh, fourth, so. Yeah. It's total crazy time. But uh, you know what? It's the first time around. They're probably going to do this on a regular basis. I don't know if it's going to be weekly. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we'll have it here for you. But let's get to this week's games and uh, and see what we're going to pick this week. Uh, absolutely. I mean, kicking things off, we got rank number 10 TCU taking off rank number 20 West Virginia. Yeah, and those are uh, AP rankings. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I have a long history in this of just picking terrible teams. <laughs> so whatever my gut is, I'm going to go with the opposite. So I'm going with West Virginia. Good call, Turtle. I actually think you made the right call. This is going to be a close game, and I'm gonna and I'm going with West Virginia too. I like the underdog. I mean, they're like a nine point underdog if you take a look at the line going into this game. Uh, but they're at home, and TCU has been a little unpredictable the last two or three games. So I'm going to go with West Virginia. Constance in New York, as you can tell, enjoying his Knicks game today. But uh, he dialed in his picks to us, and Constant is going to go with the better ranked TCU. Second game yeah, we've got I, I up like is is uh, Stanford. Stanford is taking on AP and CFP ranked fifth ranked Oregon. Yeah, uh, I I don't see. I Stanford's going to put up a fight. Sure, uh, maybe they'll cover the spread, but we're just picking straight winners here. And for me, it's a no brainer. I'm going to take the Ducks. My gut says go with the Ducks. So I have to pick Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> You're going Stanford. All right, go with Stanford. I like it, that man. I'm on the Ducks territory. I don't like it. I don't want it to happen. But that's what it, that's what just needs to take place. Good, good job there, Turtle. Good job. Yeah. Uh, Constant again going with the rankings. He's taking number five, Oregon. It's a smart choice. Like I said, I want to go with my gut, but my gut to quote high fidelity. I've been thinking with my gut since I was 14 years old, and what I come to the conclusion is my guts have shit for brains. <laughs> Too true, too true. Uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss is going to take on Auburn. And I think a lot of people have this one pegged as the game of the week. Uh, whether you are following the AP and you're looking at a number seven Ole Miss against a number four Auburn, or you like the new CFP rankings and you got a number four Ole Miss against a number three Auburn. Either way, these are two potential, potential championship playoff uh, teams. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I know, man. I'm telling you. This, I'm in front of the camera. I'm not used to being in front of the camera. What's up with this? So this is the first time the kids get to see Obi-Wan. Yeah, this is me. Look this is my that. Jedi awesomeness. I should have wore a robe. I should have wore a Jedi robe. I'm wearing a Jedi robe in the next video. Uh, but Ole Miss at Auburn. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go first this time, Turtle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Ole Miss on this one. I'm going to take Ole Miss. My... You know what's funny is my gut says go with Auburn, so I have to pick Ole Miss. Right on. You're with me. I like yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Constant is favoring the AP favorites this week, apparently, and has chosen Auburn. Good yeah, job. I mean, could go either way. Con it really uh, could. So. Uh, last game we've got is Utah at Arizona State. Turtle, what you got? I'm going to go with my gut on this one and pick Arizona. This is the one I'm going to let go and actually go with my gut. I'm an ASU fan. I like Pac-12. Uh, in Utah. Let me put it that way. Copy that. All about the Devils. Devils, Devils, Devils. I'm taking ASU. Constance taking ASU. Those are our four picks 
for the week. If you take a look at last week, if you're wondering who should I really be listening to between these three fine gentlemen who are telling us what to pick for my college football, uh, you know, last week, Turtle, you weren't around. And I don't no. did you, you didn't see the video. Uh, I know we talked about this, but uh, we kind of picked for you. Uh, yeah, we used a coin flip picked, to pick yeah, for you, you last week. Coin flip. We figured it couldn't be worse than some of the picks that you had had earlier. And what happened? I have some good news for you. What's that? You got three out of four. <laughs> you got three out of four oh. on coin flips. Better than the average. Congratulations. Unfortunately, Thanks. I went perfect last week. A perfect four out of four. So I will take the week. And Constant, Constant went 50%. He went two for four. So I notch another one up on my Jedi belt. That's how it is, kids, if you want to figure out who to pay attention to. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Hey, you don't have to listen to us. Tell us what you think. Who's going to win? Who's going to win this week? Maybe we didn't pick the game that you, that you want to pick. Tell us all about it. Uh, leave comments down here right under this video, down underneath Turtle's Head. And uh, you know what? You can also follow us on uh, Twitter and all our social media, at The Pass Sports. Uh, whatever you want we're on instagram we're on twitter you name it we're there uh we've also got a podcast that we're doing it's three days a week right now you can find it on itunes and stitcher just look yep. for the pass sports be sure to subscribe to this channel and all of our goodness and we will catch you next time